I feel like Ada is being the one that's being mean to Kawaki. Take no. that. Oh. Uh, because Ada hasn't considered what Kawaki wants. She's essentially forcing Kawaki to live with her instead of go live his life, live out his aspirations, his goals, his dreams. No, he's, he's Ada stuck didn't on this force mission. Kawaki to live with her. Let's be real. She kind of did. Ada didn't force him on that mission. Shikamaru created the mission. If Ada didn't want Kawaki to be living with her, what would Kawaki be doing right now? Living with her. Not Shikamaru living with gave her. Him the mission. Shikamaru wouldn't give the mission That's if Ada true. didn't want Shikamaru to give him the mission. Ada didn't ask him to do it. Shikamaru she, she didn't she liked her give him the mission. Shikamaru knew she liked Kawaki, and that could have influenced his decision making for the mission, like to make Ada happy as like a, a point for this. But Ada didn't ask him to do it. She didn't manipulate the situation. Amato, if anything, is the one who was like, yo, you should come to Konoha. Ada wasn't the one who decided to do that. <laughs> Ada's not being mean to Kawaki. She's literally trying to help him. Kawaki's the one who's being a dick to her, okay? Nah, <laughs> nah. If Ada was trying to help him, then he would have told Kawaki where Boruto was. Ada is trying to help Boruto. Udi. You are the literally you contradicting yourself that. from like two days ago. I changed my like mind. like three days, whatever stream we did last time, you made it so abundantly clear how Ada still loves Kawaki and is on Kawaki's side more than Boruto. <laughs> and she had to pick between them. She's picking Kawaki. Now you're saying the opposite. <laughs> like let's be real i know you're trolling she's on both of their side the most at the same time they're both the fellow strongest 